Lenovo K8 Note is the newest member of its Note series. Is this the killer note? Let's find out. Hey guys, I'm Deepankar back with another video and in today's video, I'm gonna talk about Lenovo K8 Note. The company skipped K7 Note so I'm expecting high from this phone and on paper this phone looks good. It will be available in two variants, 3GB with 32GB storage priced at Rs 13,000 and 4GB with 64GB storage priced at Rs 14,000. It will be available exclusively from Amazon.in. The phone comes in two colors, fine gold and venom black. Lenovo K8 Note looks very similar to Honor 6X. You get the same kind of metal unibody design. The rear panel got the vertical dual camera setup and fingerprint scanner at the top center side. The phone has 5.5 inches display. Above the display, it has front camera and front camera flash. Below the display, there are three capacitive non backlit keys. The phone has SIM slot, micro SD card slot, and music key on the left side. The music key is the customizable, and you can assign any other task if you do not want to prefer music control. The top side has 3.5mm audio jack, the base side has micro USB and speaker holes, the slight curve at the edges improves the grip, the phone is splash resistant with P2I and no coating, so it can survive the accidental exposure in water. The phone has 5.5 inches 1080p 2.5D curved glass display with Gorilla Glass protection. The display has good viewing angles but its reflective nature can be a problem. It offers rich colors and excellent brightness. As the phone has Lenovo's Theatre Max technology, you will enjoy multimedia content in this phone. I enjoyed Theatre Max in Lenovo K4 Note and Lenovo K5 Note both, so this could be the same experience this time or something better. The phone features Deca Core MediaTek Helio X23 processor paired with Mali T880 GPU. The Deca Core processor looks much powerful on paper, and I'm also expecting good performance with this phone. The phone will be available in 3GB and 4GB RAM models. The phone is capable enough of handling day-to-day -day tasks like social media, web browsing, but I do not want to claim anything without proper testing the device. The phone comes in 32GB and 64GB storage models. The best thing is that the phone offers a dedicated slot for microSD card. This time the company is using stock and write with custom icons only. There are few pre-installed apps including the Microsoft Office Suite. You get Android 7.1.1 Nuga with July security patch out of the box. The phone will also get regular Android updates. I hope the updates will be on time. With the stock Android, this phone will surely be better than the previous Lenovo K Note series phone. For awesome multimedia experience, it packs Theatre Max VR technology, Dolby Atmos technology. So watching videos will be a real fun on this phone. The phone also has a fingerprint scanner located on the real panel. I tested that and it was quick enough to unlock the phone quickly. It has a dual camera setup with 13 megapixels primary sensor and 5 megapixels secondary sensor. The secondary sensor is just to capture the depth information for creating bokeh effect. The camera looked fine in initial testing. On the front, it has 13 megapixels camera with f2.2 aperture. It was also fine. The pro mode is available for both rear and front cameras. Both cameras also have LED flash to support in low light. The phone has dual SIM, 4G with voice over LTE, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, micro USB, USB OTG and GPS connectivity options. It packs a large 4000 mAh battery with support to turbo charge. The turbo charger will also be available within the box. So here are few notable things to beat the competition. Water repellent and no coating, Theatre Max technology, dual camera at affordable price and Deca Core processor. At this price, this phone seems to be powerful. I have yet to test this phone properly to see the actual performance, camera and battery. This phone will be competing with Xiaomi Redmi Note 4, Cool One and Honor 6X. The first impressions of this phone is good and I hope it will perform the same as it claims. I will try to get this phone for review to experience it and share my reviews with you. What do you guys think about Lenovo K8 Note? Share your views with us in the comments. That's it for this video. If you have anything to ask, you can put it in the comment. Like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and take care.